Yo, what's going on? It's Sam coming to you from my very, very cold flat in East London. Anyway, this is the latest Hoops Fix vlog. We're rewinding and getting back to the summer. You're going to have to bear with me because the editing is a little bit late, I know. Um, we visited the Nike Western Europe Media Summit and got a chance to interview one of the all-time greats, Charles Barkley. So yeah, check out the interview, check out the vlog, check out the event, and make sure you let me know what you think afterwards in the comments below. Cool. So we're just heading to the Nike Western Europe Media Summit in Farringdon. Uh, Nike is going to be showing off all their latest technologies. A large part of it is meant to be basketball, so I'm told. So I'm guessing there's going to be a lot of Nike Plus Hyperdunk stuff. It should be absolutely awesome. Um, and I will keep you updated. Give you a little tour right now. It's just the main room where they've just done the presentations. And then through here is the crazy basketball room. You can just see sneakers for days. And you come through and you want to check it out. I like what's hyper dunks. You just swipe through on the iPad, see more information about them. Internally, they have gone in. You've got the USA kits and all the different kits the teams you're wearing up on the walls. And come through. See, there's a lot of people around. A little free bar, free food, free drinks. Even Charles Barkley in the building. And even the bar is basketball themed as well. It's a new night night at the event. Okay, so we're here with Charles. Charles, how's your time in London been so far? You know what, man? I've never been to London before, and I've been here about a week, and I'm having a wonderful time. You know, first of all, y'all got terrible weather here, uh, but I got a chance. I've eaten at some great restaurants. I got a chance to go to Wimbledon. Had a blast. So I look forward to coming back again. Where would you rank it with, uh, with the other countries you've been to around the world? I actually had more fun here because you're kind of incognito here. I've, I've been able to walk the streets every day and nobody's been bugging me. It's been pretty cool. Do you enjoy that, kind of having a bit of time when you're not being harassed all the time? Oh my God, I love that. Yeah. You know, it's so fun that people think you want the attention all the time. They don't understand. You get the attention every day, so it kind of drives you crazy. But I've been walking around here shopping and the people have been fantastic, but I've been having a blast. Have you had a chance to see Team GB at all? I have not. You've not? But you've obviously seen a lot of Luol. Yeah, you know, I'm, I think that's a really cool story about Luol Dang. You know, for him to want to play for England after what they did for him and his family, I think that's really cool. I don't think their team is going to be very good, to be honest with you. But I just think his story is what the Olympics are about, and that's pretty special. You know, yourself, you were part of the 92 Dream Team. Yeah. I mean, would you say that was one of the highlights of your career? Oh, yeah, no question. There's nothing like the Olympics. The Olympics are cool, man. I think that this country is going to really enjoy the Olympics being here. Are you going to be here as well? No, there's too many people for me. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, looking back on your career, what would you say uh, are the highlights outside of the Olympics? Well, to be honest with you, man, just playing in the NBA as long as I did is pretty special. You know, if you have a blessed enough to get to play a professional sport, it's the coolest thing in the world. But, you know, I didn't win the championship. Going in the Basketball Hall of Fame is pretty special. Uh, but just playing in the NBA, if you get to be a professional athlete, it's pretty special. And uh, earlier on in the, in the talk, you were talk saying that uh, you could see LeBron ending up going as sort of one of the greatest players of all time. Well, he's um, already one of the greatest Jordan. players of all time. And he got his first championship this year. And if he keeps racking them up, you know, Michael Jordan's the greatest I've ever seen and played against, but LeBron is such a physically amazing athlete. And if he just keeps getting better, it's gonna be scary in the long run. And you think he could unseat Jordan as the greatest of all time? I think 
It'd be tough for me to say that, but he's going to be in the conversation. Some old building in Farringdon. 